February 18, 1971, Specialist 5 Dennis Fuji, who was serving as a second tour in Vietnam as a crew chief on a helicopter ambulance, conducting a rescue operation in Laos. They were there to evacuate wounded Allied Vietnamese military personnel. But as their chopper attempted to land, it became the target, sustaining heavy damage that caused them to crash land in the middle of the conflict. When a second American helicopter managed to land nearby minutes later, it was able to evacuate all the downed crewmen except Specialist Fuji. Rather than risk the lives of his crewmates, Specialist Fuji waved off the helicopter, told them to depart, remaining behind as the only American on the battlefield. Several attempts were made to rescue him before Specialist Fuji could find a radio call off further attempts. It was too dangerous, he said. You know, I, I, I found myself a lot of times listening to my inner self. Something inside of me was telling me, don't do this or don't do that. And it ended up saving my butt many a times. It just pulled me right out of the fire. And it was like somebody was in the back of me telling me, you know, not to do this because my butt was on the line for some reason. And I had to go through the whole thing of experiencing for myself, whether it was gonna be bad or it was gonna be good. And I found out that by listening to myself, especially in those times, it did a lot for me. You never thought you'd be in a situation where you'd be become, you know, really church going. And you know, it's just that there are times that you feel so close to, to God that you kinda, you know, talk to him when there's nobody around. You feel embarrassed to be caught, you know, kinda speaking to somebody that's not there. But. Um, I found myself in a situation many a times where I, I really, I begged a man to, to save me. Got into some really bad situations where I never thought I'd get out of. And you'd be surprised what you, you promised the man. He stayed behind, ignoring his own wounds while helping tend the wounded Vietnamese allies on the field. The next night, the enemy force renewed their assault on the Allied lines with heavy artillery. For more than 17 consecutive hours, Specialist Fuji called in American gunships to help repel the attack. He repeatedly exposed himself to hostile fire in order to better observe enemy positions and direct airstrikes against them. On the radio, his fellow Americans knew him as Papa Whiskey, clear-eyed, level-headed soldier directing airstrikes so precisely they were able to drive back the forces that had come within 15 to 20 meters from the friendly camp. You're in combat. You don't have time to think of the other things. You just do whatever is in front of you. You know, the job that's got to be done then, you do it and not even think about whatever's going to happen around the hill and deal with that problem later. I think for all of the, the bad things that happened to me, there was some good that came out of it. And um, even till today, it's taught me a valuable lesson. When an American helicopter was finally able to retrieve him, Wounded and severely fatigued, two days after his air, his air ambulance had crashed, he made it only about four kilometers before it crash landed. Special Fuji had to wait two more days for another South Vietnamese base before he was able to leave the area and receive the medical assistance for his wounds. Speaking to the press shortly after his experience, Special Fuji downplayed his own contributions and honored the skills of the Allied Vietnamese troops he fought with. 
simply saying, I quote, I like my job. I like to help other people who need help out there. It's amazing. Today, Specialist 5 Fuji, we remember and we celebrate just how many people you help. I want to thank you and your wife, Ray, who couldn't be here with you today, and your brother, Edward, for all your family has done for this nation. We will forever honor your commitment to your crew, your allies, and to your country.